All righty then, it's Friday. That means it's Facebook Friday Q&A time. I believe we have enough questions to do two parts. So I'm just going to do the videos back to back. Let's have at it also. For those of you that aren't aware, I did upload a raw review this week. I'm going to put that link right here. So you can click on that at some point in time after watching the Q&A videos and see what I thought about this week's raw show, that rumble go home show, if you will. Let's get started with the Q&A though. Johannes Pressler, will CM Punk get his ass kicked in his first UFC fight? Yes or no? Um, it's possible, but I really can't imagine they're going to give Punk a, a really top flight, legitimate type of fighter in his first fight. Because they don't want to bring, bring Punk into all this pomp and circumstance and fanfare just to have him get his ass kicked, because that's not really benefiting anybody, so... I'd imagine he gets some type of washed up, some type of never was or has been, that he could sit there and find a way to maybe win via submission or decision, perhaps. So that's kind of what I would anticipate at this point. And so, Laura, will you pick a random number from 1 to 30? And whoever is that number, you'll cheer for that wrestler uh, for a year like you used to do it before? Uh, probably not. It's just not the same if the rest of the old Off the Rope Show crew isn't around to be a part of that. I mean, that works so much more when we can do that. We can build off of that. With one individual, it just doesn't work out that well, I don't think. And I don't, I'd rather come up with a new idea than <clears throat> come up with something that we did that a lot of other people have since done. You know, credit to Tony for coming up with that. And this is the ultimate backfire of him having to cheer for Cena for a year. Connor Devine, ever thought of bringing back some characters to this channel or adding some to Schleg Daddy TV? Ah. Uh, as far as the characters on this channel, stay tuned. As far as Schleg Daddy TV, nah, I don't know if that's really the shtick or gimmick on that channel that would necessitate characters, but I wouldn't rule it out. Um, but it just isn't as likely. But characters on this channel, in videos on this channel, oh, stay tuned. That's all I'll say. All right. Dean Carroll, how do you feel about the Ascension and how they're being booked? And why do so many people think Roman Reigns isn't ready to be WWE champion? I'll tackle the Reigns part first. In part, it's because now that Daniel Bryan's around, they want Daniel Bryan perhaps to win the Royal Rumble or at least somebody like a Dean Ambrose. So they look at Roman Reigns and see him not being one of those guys, and they don't like that. They resent the fact that they also believe that the only reason WWE is behind him is because he has a certain size and a certain look, and that's still all that matters after all of these years. Um, maybe it's in part because Roman Reigns isn't ready, but frankly, on the main roster, who the fuck is ready at this point in time? Let's be perfectly honest with ourselves. As far as the Ascension and how they're being booked, it's trash, mostly. It's really bad. I just... Instead of going in one direction that could have really worked, they went in a different direction. And I didn't even bother talking about their beatdown that they got on the Raw review, because I didn't want to talk about it. It's just dumb. Jonathan Shillow, which quarterback would be a better fit for the Bucks, Jameis Winston or Marcus Mariota? Um, probably Winston. Out of those two, I think Winston would probably be the better option. Uh, Tomas Adams, what is your least favorite WrestleMania? That would be WrestleMania Nine. And do you agree with me that Triple H versus Daniel Bryan was the true 2014 match of the year? A contender, but no, I do not think it was the true match of the year. Sorry, just don't see it that way. Uh, let's see here. Tayshawn Flats. Um, what do you think about the two NBA All-Star teams? Didn't Carmelo and Kobe get voted in on as starters? I hate the freaking NBA fan voting for the All-Star game because it's so stupid. It's such a dumb dick popularity contest. Like, seriously, Carmelo Anthony and Kobe Bryant are All-Star game starters. Get the fuck out of here. While the fans might have got it right with somebody like Paul Gasol being an all-star starter in the Eastern Conference, I mean, Kobe Bryant, what the fuck has Kobe Bryant done to this particular season to necessitate and justify being an all-star starter? I mean, the guy is tearing his shoulder on dunks. Come on, man. I mean, this, this is like psycho Sid quality crap now. Every year it's a new injury for Kobe. Oh, fucking A. No, I thought it was stupid. Uh, let's see here. Rodney Tussinger. Do you think Miz Dow will go over the Miz at WrestleMania if they decide to have a match? I would hope so. I would assume so. 
Who fucking knows with the WWE? Uh, Shaquan Simon. Who will win in a rap battle between John Cena and the Macho Man? Only one of them told Hulk to be a man, so it's got to be the Macho Man. And the best thing about his rap album was there wasn't a single instance of swearing, I believe. Zero profanity. It was an awesome, incredible PG uh, rap album. You know, you might debate the number of bars that Cena had. Multiply that total by many fold, and you've got the Macho Man, period. Uh, let's see here. Dion Indy Colts Wells. Did you get a chance to watch Wrestle Kingdom 9? If so, what are your thoughts? I did not, so I have no thoughts. Will I watch it at some point in time? Probably not. Just being honest. Just don't have an interest to see it. William Siders. Who are your three most likely winners for the Rumble? Um, Reigns, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton. I think the Randy Orton possibility is much stronger than people are making it out to be right now. I really do. I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm not predicting it. I'm not ensuring it. All I'm saying is, is that it is a very viable, very real very legitimate possibility, especially based off of the alternatives. Okay. Aaron O'Brien, if Reigns wins the Rumble and fans give him the same treatment as Batista, could you see them turning him heel like they did with Batista? Uh, yeah, I could in part because they went the way they went with Brock Lesnar and apparently turning him babyface. So now that you've turned Brock babyface, you're going to have him carry the title into Mania, and then Reigns is going after him. You'd almost have no choice but to turn Reigns heel, because otherwise the dynamics of it would be completely and totally off anyways, and the crowd would fucking turn Reigns heel. So you'd almost have to. You'd almost have to. Let's see here. Lindsey Hopkins, do you think that China would be a good candidate for the 2015 WWE Hall of Fame? I don't see why not. I mean, they put Sonny in. Why can't they put China in? Just wondering. Uh, let's see here. And she also asked, is it a thing for wrestlers to dunk their head in a bucket of water before they come out? Ah! <laughs> Maybe it's baby oil? Mm -hmm. It's just a thought. Let's see here. Alfredo Regalado. Who do you think John Cena will face at WrestleMania 31 if Reigns faces Lesnar? Um, again, great question. Maybe Rusev, but I think that's kind of stupid. I don't know if Cena has a WrestleMania 31 opponent at this point in time. I really don't. Just surprising. You would think you would have that kind of determined or figured out by now. But it would almost seem like if they're going to go in any direction, they're going to go with Rusev. That would be my thought at this point. Let's see here. Graham Burley, do you think having Lester win and Cena win at last WrestleMania was a mistake that still hinders the WWE? Uh, it doesn't help. There are lots of things hindering the WWE product right now. Things like that most certainly don't help. You know, it really doesn't. But those aren't the only problems. Uh, Glenn Allen, should Sting's match main event WrestleMania as it may be the one and only time he wrestles at one? If you knew Sting was going to go out there and be able to deliver a certain level of match, then you could definitely make an argument, especially if you were sending him at uh, Triple H, or especially if you are sending him at Taker, then that match would have to main event WrestleMania, even over the title match. But you don't have those assurances. You don't have those guarantees. Does that need to be second to match, last or third to last match of the night? Yes. But does it need to main event? I don't know about all that. Uh, and then Glenn Allen also asked, would Rusev be a good choice for a Rumble winner? The idea of him winning and the Russian flag being dropped at the end would be an awesome sight. I've talked about it before. I mean, based off of this 2014, Rusev still has a lot of momentum, even though it seems like they've kind of lost what to do with them the past couple of weeks with Ryback being out. Yeah, you could do Rusev winning the Rumble, especially with turning Brock Lesnar babyface. The problem is, is do you really want to build WrestleMania 31 around Rusev winning the title, knowing that that's not necessarily the longest term of characters for the WWE? Would they really want to launch a Rusev era? I don't know. Um, let's see here. Aaron Zach, do you see the Belichick and Rex Ryan conferences? If so, what did you think about them? Uh, Rex Ryan conference when he was press conference when he was hired by the Bills. 
Or did he talk about the flake kid? I, I don't really know. As far as Belichick, I talked about the deflate gate shit on the Slug Daddy TV channel. You know, it, it's typical of the Patriots. It's, it's stupid. It, it's dumb. Uh, but you really should be blaming the NFL for this type of crap even being able to potentially happen, to even for it to enter into possibility. This is just ridiculous. I mean, that's what we should really be blaming here. Um, let's see here. Who else we got? Jeff Kyles. What would happen if Vince McMahon did the same thing Benoit did? Oh, my God. Um, the WWE would cease to exist? That would not be good. That would not be good at all. So thanks to you guys for your questions for part one of this q and I'll be turning right back around and doing part two. So that way I reward you guys that took to Facebook and posted your questions.